Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, being broke ain't for me. That's why I keep my grip on me. I am not a wrestler. Can't trust nobody, yes. Sir. Gotta keep that pressure. Ball heads like Uncle Fester. They say I'm next to cooking in the lab like a professor. When I leave my crib, I put my heart on the dresser. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, and everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. This hoodie's actually from Gigi Gotti's No Studio and Gear. He's got a lot of fly stuff over there. But yeah, so uh, salute to Jazz the Rapper. Guys, we're going to step. Bardashi is the gang. I'm Alec Baldwin. I told them a bitch got to die on a set. First and foremost, I must say this, um, you know, she had a battle versus Young Gaddis that just happened. She did her thing. I spoke about the battle. I recapped the battle, you know what I'm saying, when it when it happened and things like that. Uh, it was almost a two-hour recap of just pretty much the whole event. It's good to see her back on her mojo, back in the game, back in the spot that she should be in, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jazz is one of the leaders of female battle rap. And, you know, a lot of the time, people was getting at her like, yo, you at every single event, but you're not battling, you're not battling. Now I know why, you know what I'm saying? She wanted that bag, she wanted her paper to be right. And, you know, she's innovative. She's like, yo, I got to get this bread. I feel you. Go find that man and don't come back until you find that man. So she said she spoke about media. Media, media, not media, but bloggers, you know what I'm saying? Like bloggers. She said, and I quote, I cannot believe there are bloggers that don't give props to battlers that they are not fans of. It's so many that I've never seen say anything positive about me, son. And that was at 8 a.m., you know, so she woke up choosing violence. Now, I know that this does not have anything to do with me in particular, but I'm just speaking from the perspective of somebody who does blogs, you know what I'm saying, um, and, my, and my partner Showtime SP. Um, Here's the deal. There are some battle rappers who do media right and do blogs right, and there are others who don't. You know, like, I don't have to be a fan of somebody. There are very few battle rappers, very, very few, who I won't speak on. I won't recap. I won't, there are very few. But for the most part, I don't have to see eye to eye with you. We don't have to be cool. We don't have to be friend. None of that. You know what I'm saying? If I, I don't even do interviews that often, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really an interview guy. I don't really seek out interviews because I always want to be like, yo, if, we gonna, if, this, if this machine is going to move, it's going to move off our own merit. Me and Showtime SP, we're going to recap the battles. We're going to have our reactions, things like that. People look at me and him kind of like how you look at different folks on TV like Skip and Shannon. He's got like a, a vibrant personality, you know what I'm saying? And I'm more... You know, I got the catchphrases, the here's and there's, and we and we mesh well, you know what I'm saying? That's my part, and I respect everything that he does, right? But when you look at a show like that, they only talk about the same three things every day. LeBron James, Tom Brady, the Dallas Cowboys. They don't really drift off. They're going to talk about those three subjects every single day. I say that to say this, right? If Kyrie Irving doesn't play for Brooklyn, they'll talk about that. They won't talk about how the Nets have won six out of their last seven games and Kevin Durant is leading the league and scoring. They're not going to talk about that because guess what? That's not the catch-worthy shit. But if something happens negatively, they'll talk about it. But they're always going to talk about, oh, if LeBron tweets uh, this, they're going to have a whole show about it. He's going to come on with the goat mask. He's going to come. That's what they do. But people have to understand that battler, bloggers can blog about whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? There's some that break down battles. There's some that never break down a battle. It is their personal choice. These bloggers do not work for battlers, and most of them do not work for leagues. They're independent. They can talk about what they want. So let me get back to what I'm getting to. Like, you'll have an instance, right, where a battler will say, oh, I'm putting hands on so-and-so, or I'm, when I see Showtime, I'm going to slap him. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. That's cool. That's how you feel. But you can't expect me to tell him, yo, I need you to break down this battle. Woo -woo -woo -woo. 
He's a grown man at the end of the day. I can't expect him, or if somebody says something like that to me, nobody has, but if it was the case, that's cool. Your battle come, your battle happens. I don't have to dig in my bag and have him here reacting and oh, ah, la, la, la. that's just not gonna happen. At the end of the day, people are not robots and you can't just say, I want praise, I want praise. Like that shit doesn't work like that. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people's asking for the Tay Rock and um, Twerk recap. It's not gonna happen because one of the guys was like, yo, when I see Showtime SP, I'm gonna slap him. Only for his opinion on battle rap. Wasn't rock, but it is what it is. Like, I cannot get him to react or want to have him break down a battle and do line for line for line when that type of energy is out there. I ain't no issue with you, it is what it is, and it'll be what it's gonna be, but you can't expect people to just go out their way when the relationship is like how they are. So let's look at somebody else like Gichi Gotti, right? One of the biggest names in battle rap. The biggest. His relationship, he does not get into quarrels or squams with people who he wants to help big him up, who he wants to help. He has a platform, a whole platform, no studio, and he has a media company. He could easily take everything that he does and just put it on his own channel and continue to grow like that. Nobody would question it. He could say, yo, I'm not doing no interviews at all. I'm just going to do everything on my own channel and continue to make money. He could easily do that. But what does he do? He has an event coming on. He says, all media who want interviews, hit me up. I got Monopoly coming up. He's battling A Ward again. He knows that by doing interviews, it's going to make a buzz. It's going to have people talking. It's going to have people buying pay-per-views. So, you know, I reach out and I got a very good relationship with him. Like I said, this what is, is from his from him. You reach out, he reaches back, you do an interview. That's just one hand washing the other. Of course, if I'm putting it on my channel, it's going to make money. It's going to be get views and shit like that. But he knows that having an open relationship and a rapport, they're not going to tear you down. Even if you don't, if he loses, I could say Geechee won a battle. I could say Geechee lost a battle. I, I hit him on that phone, that phone going to answer back. He's going to hit me back. He don't have no hard feelings, but there's other battle rappers that if you even have an opinion about a battle, yo, I feel like so-and-so lost their, next bat their last battle, or they choked in this battle, or they didn't do good in that battle, they will jump on social media and say, suck my D, your mother, when I see you, I'm like, bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> so that's where you get situations where, battle, where people won't even recap your battles or won't even give you props when you do good. Now with Jazz, I rock with Jazz. I've given her a lot of appreciation, a lot of admiration, and I still am. What she did versus Gaddis was phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? It was phenomenal. She's talking about... Her and Coffee was going back and forth. I'd love to see her and Coffee get at it. I would like to see Jazz battle more in the new era. Like, I would love to see her battle more often. Like, we can't wait five years between Jazz battles. Like, I don't want to wait. I don't think it's fair that us as fans, and me a fan of her, waits three, four, five years between battles. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, that ain't it. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of respect for her. I know her pops. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm cool with him. She's dope, you know what I'm saying? So I, I got a lot of admiration and I do show love when she does her thing. But I definitely seen the notion and seen the tweet of what she said. She can't believe there's bloggers that don't give props to battlers that they're not fans of. It's not. If you do this consistently, you're going to cover a lot of people. People that you may be fans of, people that you're not fans of, you know what I'm saying? We recap battles all the time with people that I'm not particularly fans of, but at the same time, you have to be able to separate that notion and be like, you know what, I'm recapping this battle, I got to give this person props, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. But once a person steps outside the lines of battle rap, it is what it is. Like, you can't expect... Somebody to come up here and have, and I'm not saying she did that, you know what I'm saying? I just gave y'all a notion as to where it happened, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't expect or ask Showtime SP to come break down a battle with somebody said they're going to put their hands on them. Like, that's just, what are we doing? Um, like I said, I definitely see Jazz's point of view. Um, but a lot, and then another thing is, a lot of the times, you'll recap these artists' battles and you'll put them in post, and you'll at them, you know what I'm saying, put them on Twitter, and put the, put the blog out or whatever, and they won't retweet it, they won't acknowledge it. They don't see anything positive, they see the negative, though. If you say something negative, they'll see it. 
And I know sometimes a lot of fans be egging these, egging the battle that's on. Like they'll go in the blog and take out like a 15, 20 second clip and then post it and then tag the battle in. And like, yo, this is what happened with um, the Showtime SP. Showtime SP was just generally giving his opinion about Rock's battle on Drake's card and how who he felt like was gonna win and things like that. They took a clip, a 20 second clip that was not the whole conversation they tagged the artist in it and said, yo, this person be hating on you. This got to stop. woo dee woo -de woo And that's when the reaction comes. When I see him, I'm going to do this. And it's like, I mean, all right, I guess. But it's just a matter of opinion about a battle. And I was talking to one of my homies this week. And he's a professional athlete, uh, Gerald McCoy. And he was saying, like, yo, if these guys was in mainstream, do you think that LeBron James... Or like Kevin Durant could say, yo, when I see Stephen A. Smith, I'm beating him up. Or I'm, I'm spitting in his face. Or I'm, you know, like who's going to, like, you, that would be crazy in a real world. You know what I'm saying? But in battle rap, it's acceptable. It's promoted. Like, yo, you're going to do this. Like, the, the, the fact, the likelihood of that happening and them crossing paths is very little to none anyway. But when it does happen, you can't expect me to ask him, yo, I need this ball breakdown, because you know, a lot of y'all don't even know how long it takes to break down these battles, line for line for line for, y'all don't, y'all have no idea, and it's cool, we're going to continue doing it, but uh, we definitely got a Geechee Gotti versus Loaded Lux, line for line breakdown of that joint coming up, and it is what it is, but salute to everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. You know what I'm saying? I always tell people all the time, if you don't like it, you don't really, you don't, nobody forces any of these guys to watch this stuff. But it's the entitlement of the battle sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't care about nothing else, but when they do good, they want to see you give them praise. And that's cool. But at the same time, you know, disrespect gets met with an intercept. Like, I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm not going to disrespect nobody. I'm not going to do any of that. But what I'm not doing is we, we just, it's just certain shit that's just not getting covered. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Salute! Bang! Ain't lonely Being broke ain't for me That's why I keep my grip on me I am not a wrestler Can't trust nobody, yes it Gotta keep that pressure Ball heads like Uncle Fester They say I'm next up cooking in the lab like a professor When I leave my crib, I put my heart on the dresser Them hoes you peer pressure Don't believe none ever With me, they never clever Skip that shit like a record My bitch bad, she hold the record Swear